So today we're down here on the floor. We've got our Del Vostro. And this was my old NAS drive. So it came from down there. Right, it's gone now. And I have pulled the drives that uh, is useful to me. So I took it out an SSD and a HDD. This is still one HDD in here, which is a 3.5 inch IDE, which was what I was running Freelance on. Technically, it's a HDD, so you know, it's a good drive to run it on, right? But yeah, not something you can populate into a more modern system, so that's that, right? Leaving behind a super sketchy AVF power supply. Uh, you know, my 4 gig of RAM that he shows up as 3, sadly, right? Then don't have to use an add in card to get gigabit Ethernet, right? So now we're going to take a look at what we're doing in the new box. Gonna shift down the tripod, gonna be a bit shaky for a little bit. Right. That's what us. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening in here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna light down and take a look inside. We're more interested in this area. First things first, the. What do you call it? The GPU is obviously gone. Okay, then I was thinking giving the 2 8 gig 6 RAM here. Nothing much else is new except for this area, right? So, what we're working with was basically that. Okay, if you look at this. Okay, I should get rid of this cable, anyways. This is a terrible angle cable. Thanks, Dell. Okay, so what we're working with is basically my add-in 8-pin uh, power which gave me two SATA ports then one SATA power here uh, so we've got three drives in here right now okay so this was the original 500 gig that we're looking at 500 gig SSD one terabyte HDD and this was from my own as uh, 600 gig HDD okay so I'm currently thinking that okay there's four SATA ports in here let's just use it all so I am going to Pull this one. We're gonna do a super janky power conversion, okay? Because I don't have a SATA power splitter. Not advisable, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, it's not gonna work out very well, but we'll see what happens. Because I do need quite a lot of power going around. But let's pull this SATA cable out first. I suppose I can't convert this, this should be just 12 volts, so I'm just gonna leave that there so it doesn't suck any power and hopefully give more power to the rest of the system. I'm gonna use this cable again. Uh, this is a standard SATA cable. Okay, um, janky power conversion, right? So. The aim is to put in another SSD so that we end up with four drives. Okay, so first things first, this connector doesn't really suit this build because of the angle, right? So I'm gonna pull one out from my previous build here. And once again, I don't have short, <laughs> short connectors, so it's just gonna add more to the red's nest, but life be life, right? Ah. Okay, that's gonna go there. And this one messes one say that I'm just gonna stuff it in the fan truck. Why not? Then this is gonna be another one. Okay. So I've got two drives here that need SATA connections. One down here. So this one, these two have to remain these two connectors here. And they can't change because they are right at the edge. Uh, so part of the jankiness is going to happen. 
Okay. Um, oh shit. Give me a second, I have to look for a cable. Okay, found what I was looking for. So as part of the jackiness of this all, uh, I've got this. Okay, so this is a Zeta splitter to a Zeta and a Molex. Okay, so what can happen here is I can take my pick. Okay, I'm gonna go for the middle one. Okay, that's my 600 HD. I'm gonna stick this in here. Okay, so we end up with one more Seder, which can come back here. Then we're gonna go from Molex, okay, because I don't have Molex and Seder, and I do need a Molex. We are gonna go... Uh, okay, wait. Still, I don't have a cable. Give me a second. Okay. Found my cable, so I'm gonna go more legs to three more legs. Okay. <laughs> this is a very janky power setup. Uh, don't replicate this unless you have to. I would think this is quite okay because I don't have GPU and uh, yeah, it's just. It should be fine. And this is a 291 bronze. The best bronze boss play. Okay, so I've got more likes to three more likes. Okay, then I've got a more likes to Zeta. <laughs> Hilarious. And this gives us all the connections we need to get our build done. This goes into this. Ta da! And well, this. I only need one more. Okay. So. Now that this is. This jankiness is all done. Okay. Uh, I need to find a way to like put it nicely in here. So, I'm gonna pull these two connectors out first. Not the easiest things to pull off. Okay, uh, I would say these two pretty much are the last to go in. So I'm just gonna put them up here. Okay, so we've got this one in there. We're gonna put in these two. I'm thinking that the HDD shouldn't be right at the bottom, so I'm gonna go SSD, SSD, HDD. Okay, so then, yeah, I know it's not really a great idea to let this just fly around, but uh, it's the best I can do. Right, anyhow. Uh, I'm not going to keep anything important on this HD, it's going to be like a temporary storage or a SharePoint kind of thing. Yeah. Should be fine. Or, you know, I just put videos that uh, I don't really care if it gets lost. Okay, so let's pull one of these connectors down. It's going to have to flip over. Chuck that in. Okay, and then, well, okay, fine. Let's use this really long. These two go back there, stay there. Okay, let's put this really long blue. Oh, wait, I took one at this right angle. Nope, I just got rid of the black one that was right angle. Okay, let's see if I can get a different one. Yep, okay, this is actually much shorter. 
So this is not right angle. Reason why I can't use the right angle is because the right angle is going down, which is like weird. Okay, and, and this just chops right in there. Okay, and these are slightly here. Okay, uh, cables are gonna be a mess. But let's try to manage it as best we can. So, all of this, just cram it down here. Right. <laughs> so much of man man managing, managing it the best we can. I'm gonna take one uh, Monex Power, so I'm gonna put it there because we're gonna need that later. But for now, let's ignore that. Okay, and then bring these two that we chuck the side. And put it in there, and put that in there. Right, and there we have it. My red's nest, for all <laughs> intents and purposes. Okay, so that's getting four drives into here without mounting any three of the drives. Thanks for watching.